And what is up guys, this is Jay with Prepared Citizens. Today, I want to talk to you guys about extending the range of your handheld radio. Let's do it. So today we want to talk about extending the range of your handheld radios. Uh, one of the most probably common questions I get about radios, I actually I think it is the most common question. Um, first off, these are not cell phone replacements. You have to understand that. You got to understand the application in which you're getting the radio for, and that's going to be to maintain contact with those that are semi closely around you. Now, let's jump into the two ways to extend the range. Number one, and the most effective, is programming your radio for a repeater. I have a repeater that is west, well, west of me, about nine miles. I can hit that repeater. That repeater can reach someone that is nine miles even further that way, or possibly even up to 20, 30 miles that way, because it's up on top of a mountain, pretty good mountain. And there's another repeater east of me, about 12 miles. I can also hit that repeater and talk to people in a city over. Now, before we go too far into that, just want to clarify, when you talk on repeaters, it's either going to be a GMRS or a ham repeater. Obviously, you have to have your license to just casually talk on these things. Another thing to look into is figuring out who owns the repeater. Some repeaters are open, and some repeaters require you to... Uh, have a subscription to like a, a uh, radio club or something like that and that way they can track who all is using their repeater because these repeaters cost a lot of money we're talking thousands possibly even tens of thousands of dollars and uh, sometimes it's nice to just generously donate to um, the club or people that allow people to use these things because that's pretty cool because you're not having to pay that full amount to use it and now you're you know when you do get the permission to use a repeater now you can talk for 20 30 40 miles okay so things to consider and that is the number one way to increase the range number two and the easiest the most effective is to upgrade your antenna now i'm going to share with you guys the antenna i use and setup i use and why but putting a good antenna on the radio is going to give you it gives you more clarity and it's going to give you a little bit more range now when I say more range okay let's <laughs> let's just clear this up here's the standard UV 5R standard antenna that comes on it I have a uh, on my website I got a standard kit you can get these pre-programmed this one you're going to be looking at one to three miles five if you're like on top of a tall hilltop and just looking down over everything so that's one thing to consider I, I'm just gonna say one to three miles so let's just be fair um, with the upgraded antennas the signal sticks like I recommend and uh, I usually sell them again they're not on the website right now trust me I got a lot of medical stuff I'm working on they're coming they're gonna be here soon but these will give you an extra just two miles, I'm going to say. Uh, you know, I can comfortably talk usually three miles as long as there's no hills or anything like that. Because you also have to remember, these radios, all these radios right here, yes, they're ham, GMRS, all the cool stuff. But it's still just a walkie-talkie at the end of the day. And that's going to mean... You can't have any mountains or metal buildings or things like that in between you and who you're trying to talk to. So please keep that in mind. But um, yes, if you and who you're talking to has setups like this, it's going to greatly increase uh, the quality and just uh, length, distance of the communication. Um, how I set them up. Okay, let's go over that. First off, I always recommend BNC adapters. A BNC is a type of quick disconnect where you can take your antenna quickly on and off. What's the benefit of that? Well, 
like this right here, this is a little bit longer range setup. If I wanted to quickly go into something I might put into one of my chest rigs, something, you know, I don't want a big antenna and I shouldn't be too far away from my team anyway, I can quickly change it out to like a stubby, okay? And these are really good antennas. I'll tell you guys the antennas just here in a second. I'm just want to get through this. So quick, quick disconnect. Um, that's one reason. Another reason is because these adapters you put on your radio, these will protect that uh, antenna out spot on your radio. Okay, so the antenna out is down in there like that. That's normally what you would screw your antenna into. Okay, and this way you have an adapter that you will screw into it. And that's going to help keep this little spot protected. So if you did drop this thing somehow really bad and it break the you know, antenna, the end of the antenna, and possibly even this little spot, as long as down in there isn't broke, you're good. You can just replace all this and be good to go. But if on a regular antenna that's like hard mounted, if you broke this off and all that stuff, the antenna out on the radio actually went with it, now the entire radio is junk. So that's something to think about as well. Um, so where do I get this stuff? You can get this these adapters. You can get them on my website. You can get these uh, from Radio Made Easy. You can get them on eBay. Just be careful. Make sure you're getting the right ones. Um, for the bow fangs, you got UV5R. And actually, it works for this uh, TDH3 radio as well. Um, you're going to be looking at the SMA Female 2 BNC Female Adapter. That's what it's going to be called. I'll have it on the screen for you. And um, as far as the signal stick, it's just going to be the BNC signal stick by Signal Stuff. I can give you, um, you can go to their website or you can purchase one of these from me. So either way works for me. These antennas are really good. These antennas are made in USA. That's one thing I really like. If you break this antenna, you can send it to them. And uh, another thing, it is a long antenna, but guess what? It's an unbreakable Antenna, that's what they always brag about. So you can actually fold it up like that. And then if you're not using it, if you just got it kind of stashed away, you can put these together like that and you're not taking up much room. See? Put that in a bag or whatever, put that in your kit. And then when you need the radio, whip it out, when in doubt, and uh, get ready to go. Get ready to talk to somebody. All right. Um, and, yeah, so I do that to all my radios. The only one, well, I guess these are the only two, technically. This is kind of my sample radio I take around with me to let people see what a UV5R is like. But this is the 152. It's got the Avery antenna. These are okay. I have still found ooh, that my signal stick does do a little bit better on receiving and transmitting. But... Um, it's not a bad intent. This intent actually just came with this radio, so that's why I'm like, well, we're going to test it since it came with it. And uh, a review on this radio will be coming down the road, just like the TDH3 and this AR5RM. Uh, so anyway, guys, I hope this helps. Uh, if you got any questions about antennas, extending the range, all this good stuff, I just like rambling about radios. Um, please drop it in the comments. I'll help you out. And uh, yeah. These radios are pretty cool. I may be doing these on the website soon. I'm still in the testing process on these. And so far, it's really good. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. I really appreciate you watching. Guys, if you um, don't mind, please, if you enjoyed this, if you got some value out of it, please uh, share it, subscribe, uh, comment, and hit the like button. All that good stuff. I really appreciate that stuff. I really appreciate everyone. It helps support me in that way. It means a lot. And also, if you really want to support the channel, and if you need some medical stuff or radio stuff, please go to preparedcitizenstg.com and support us that way. That is a huge help. That helps me and my family. 
and helps me keep bringing you content. So, um, guys, I think that does it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to be an asset to everyone out there, and I'll catch you on the next one. God bless, guys. that off.